Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today is September 16th, that means it's iPhone day, and like many people I decided to upgrade this year. Usually in fact I upgrade every year, and the reason being is that I am a YouTuber and I film all my YouTube videos with an iPhone. I've built my channel with an iPhone starting with the iPhone 5 I believe it was. So every year I like to upgrade my equipment, especially when they make improvements to the camera. And this year I decided to go with the one terabyte model. The last couple phones I've had have been the 512 and I found I've been running out of space. For most people one terabyte is overkill, but when you're doing a lot of filming, recording for hours on end, that internal memory can fill up very Fairly quickly, especially if you don't have time to get everything edited right away. I also decided to go with the Space Black. That tends to be what I get every year. I think last year they were calling it Graphite. I was looking at the Deep Purple. That actually looked kind of nice as well, but I uh, thought I'd just go with a classic look. On top of that, I got a few new cases. Usually these are the two colors that I go with, black and red, and I just kind of switch it out throughout the year. Uh, depending what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, but this year I did something a little bit different. I went with a leather case. Uh, they have that new umber color and uh, I thought that looked actually really sharp. And so I did get a matching Apple wallet to go with it. I love the Apple wallet. I bought it when it was first introduced alongside the iPhone 12, I believe it was. And before that I was a traditional wallet kind of guy, a great big bulky wallet. And now I just carry three cards with me, my bank card, a credit card, and my driver's license. And really that's all I need. Definitely if you've been on the fence about getting an Apple wallet, It'll change your life. So yeah, at the end of the video, we'll try some of these cases on to see what they look like. I also did get a screen protector. This is by Spigen. This is usually the brand that I use for all my devices. I won't put it on in this video, but uh, if you are looking for a good quality screen protector, I highly recommend this brand. It comes with an applicator right in the box, so you don't have to worry about putting it on Cricut. So anyways, let's get right into the unboxing here. Uh, like I said, there's not really a lot of updates this year. Of course, we have the new A16 which is gonna make editing video on your phone a lot easier. We have some improvements to the camera. Of course, that dynamic island, which, you know, it's kind of gimmicky to me, but uh, you know, that might be kind of interesting. And one thing I am kind of interested in is the new 4K cinema mode. I don't film a lot in cinema mode, but I am excited to play around with that a little bit. So here we go there. For the most part, it looks identical to the previous generation. Let's just do a quick comparison here while I have it out. So if you take a look at the color, this one here is called graphite. This one here is space black. And it is slightly darker, it looks like, perhaps, depending on how the light hits it. It's a slightly darker color gray. The camera bump does look to be a little bit bigger, but other than that, they're pretty well identical. So let's go ahead and we'll take it out of here. So we'll go ahead and we'll peel off that protective layer. And yeah, that's basically it. We'll just go ahead and we'll set that down for a minute. Of course, we get the basic stuff. We get a charging cable, USB-C to lightning. And here we get a little bit of documentation, a SIM tool, and one Apple sticker. Again, no headphones anymore and no charging block. So I'm going to go ahead here and power it on. And I'm just going to set it up as a new iPhone. I'm not going to transfer my existing stuff over yet because that's going to take hours. Uh, but what I am going to do is put my SIM card in. In Canada here, we still have a physical SIM tray. If you're in the U.S., they've now switched to eSIMs. And I imagine that'll be coming to Canada next year. So there we go there, we've got our SIM card in. Let's pop it in and now we'll power it on. So, so I'm gonna select English, Canada. At this point, I'm just gonna put set up manually, connect to our Wi-Fi. So right now it's activating the phone and I may run into a problem here because early this morning it was reported that some people are having problems activating their iPhone 14s. It's a glitch in iOS 16. As soon as you can get your phone activated, there is an update already waiting. Part of the bug is, is that iMessage isn't working properly and neither is FaceTime. But supposedly once you download that update, that will correct that issue. We'll set up Face ID later. I'm not going to use a passcode for now. I'll put in my Apple ID. And there we go. We're all set up. So as you can see there, we have the new dynamic island at the top. And as you can see there, there is an update. Even though iOS 16 is already installed on this, there is still an update that we can download. So that is basically that. So let's go ahead here and we'll take a look at some of the cases and we'll uh, see what they look like. Uh, let's start here with the red. This is the product red. And here it is here. And there we go. Actually seems to be a little bit brighter this year than I remember, but you know, that could just be me. Yeah, looks good. Let's go ahead and we'll do the black. And there we go there. 
And yeah, I really do like the way black looks. I'm probably going to start with that, maybe. Let's go ahead here. We'll take a look at the new Umber leather case. We go there. Actually looks really nice. I really like the look of that. And there we go. Feels a little bit slipperier than the uh, silicone cases. Something I will have to get used to. And uh, let's go ahead and we'll try the new Apple Wallet with it. Yeah, I actually really like that. I might actually start with that first. So now at this point, I'm going to have to go ahead and clean the screen again and then put my screen protector on. And then, of course, transfer all my uh, data over from my other phone, which will take probably a couple hours. There's quite a bit on there. One last thing I do want to check is the always on display. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, power it off there. I don't know if you can tell on camera there how bright it is, but it's in the always on display setting right now. You can see when I do hit the power button, it'll brighten up a little bit there. So yeah, that's kind of neat. I don't know if I'm going to actually make use of that. I might even turn that feature off. And apparently it will turn off if you use an Apple Watch in conjunction with your phone. If it detects the proximity of your Apple Watch is quite a distance away, it will shut off just to save battery power. If you flip your phone over, it will turn off. So yeah, that is the new iPhone 14 Pro Max, one terabyte in space black. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.